Oh, Steve Mignani, we're back, and this is the 1962 Dodge Dart police car that I bought from Texas, and today on uh, November 2nd, 2021, it, it arrived, it showed up. So we're doing a series of uh, meet and greet, get to know you videos, and uh, we're now gonna explore what kind of suspension this thing has. Now, being a nine code police car, it should have heavy duty stuff up front. Does it really? Well, we'll find out. Now, what does heavy duty mean? Well, in the world of police cars, what this means is an anti-roll bar up front. Um, and uh, I'm trying to find that page here, but they describe these things as having, you know, heavy duty suspension with um, big brakes and stuff like that. So we're gonna find out what that all means. Here you go, Evan, thank you. Um, okay, now, as we all know, Mopar is built up to about 1972 or so, have left-hand lug nuts on the driver's side of the car. So the righty tighty lefty loosey doesn't apply to these early Mopars up till about 1972-73. So it's a uh, righty loosey, and here we go. I've taken off a bunch of them here. So here's a righty loosey, and here's our heavy duty 15 by six inch steel wheel, which was an option on the police car. It would have had a standard 14 inch rim, but this is the big one with the, uh, the, the clip on center caps, the hub caps. Okay, the wheel is ready to come off. And again, here's those left hand lug nuts. Then the, the letter L is actually stamped into the end of the stud. Very helpful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's been on there for a while. All right. Okay, lug nuts are off, but yeah, clearly, Okay, it's cut for a second. I'm going to grab a big hammer. Twist and come right off. Okay, now, okay, <laughs> well, this is weird. It's, it's, it's good and bad. The good news is, yeah, that's an 11 by three inch drum brake. Absolutely the standard heavy duty police drum brakes on this thing. That's awesome. These are the same brakes that were used as standard equipment on Roadrunners, Hemi Chargers, and all the high performance Mopar muscle cars of the later 1960s. But they were actually using police parts on those muscle cars, which are what we see on this police car. Now, what I find is a bit surprising is that there's no brake shoes in here. There's no hardware. <laughs> so somewhere along the line, somebody started doing a brake job on this thing and stopped. But the good news is I'd way rather see nothing in here because I'm going to change the wheel cylinder, the brake shoes, the hardware, all that crap. Uh, and I'd rather see nothing than old junk I got to fight with. So that's okay, but it's awesome to see that. Uh, another thing we see on this thing that's kind of cool, come on in here if you would, Donovan, is the original plastic shielding on the ball joint and uh, tie rod ends, this plastic stuff right here. This is the left-hand side, see the L in it. This front end has never been a part. It's probably never been rebuilt. Or if it was, it was done by a dealer at the dealer level where these parts were reinstalled after the ends were uh, re re redone. But I see beautiful inner structure here. There's no rust on the frame rails. So the frame or the floor rust doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you know, again, these unit construction Mopars, when they have bad, 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 uh, uh, rocker panel rust and that kind of thing you usually have big big issues inside but this is super solid it's just the floor pans that are rotten now we don't know about the trunk floor <laughs> we'll find that later but it's great to see on this thing the front half of the car has the heavy duty suspension including the front anti-sway bar this thing right here this is the roll bar right here seen only on police cars and heavy duty option uh, trailer towing that kind of stuff so it's awesome to see this uh, 11 by 3 inch drum brakes up front hemi suspension on these things so again we're going to put a max wedge in this thing of 513 uh, it'll look like a 413 but i won't tell anybody if you want so we're going to go now to the back of the car in the next video to see what the rear suspension and brakes look like do we continue the heavy duty police car theme or not we're going to find out but if you like this video be sure to subscribe to the steve mags youtube channel and tell your friends and stick around for more